Hi everybody, my name is Jerry and welcome back to my channel. We are coming to you from a brand new iPhone 12 mini that I just got because I was due for an upgrade and we are in high def and this is weird. <laughs> so I'm very excited because the newest MV for Morning Musume just dropped. My last video got flagged for copyright stuff so I'm going to be listening to this one with headphones. So this is Gyu Saretai Dake Nano Ni. I have no literally no idea what to expect. I haven't watched this yet. I saw the notification on YouTube moments ago and it was like, watch this. And I'm like, okay. And then I opened it up and I saw what it was and I was like, I have to, I have to pause. So um, I have no, literally no idea what to expect. And oh, there's a new, uh, I got to save that. Okay, so I'm gonna watch this and let's get into this. So this opening shot, Maria looks stunned. Absolutely stunned. In this lace dress? Come on. Okay. Oh, come on, girls. Ah, oh, it looks so good. There's no music yet. Is there supposed to be no? Okay, it's, it's, they're loading up. Not what I was expecting. Yes, come on, 15 Jen. Okay, now these outfits, it's still a muted color scheme, but I don't totally hate it. Oh my gosh. The styling on these are so good. Yes. This beat. Oh yeah, I'm into this. Okay, there's that posing again. What's going on? What's happening? Why is there a creepy doll? Ariana Grande, what's going on? Silk, chiffon, the hair in front of the face. Ma looks so good. I literally cannot get over how good she looks. That high note. Okay, here's Yoko Yan. She had almost no presence in the last one and she's getting a lot of face in this one. Yes! There's Rio again, looking stunning. She looks so good. There's something kind of like, um, kind of creepy about the, the rope. And I don't know what that is, but there's something kind of like eerie about it. Oh, you don't understand nothing. That ruffle on Ayumi's like jacket is so cool. Yes, come on, Ma. May is always killing it with those looks. That pose was fierce. There's something markedly, markedly more fierce about this video. And I don't know if it's the way that it was filmed. It's the lack of effects. Small cat child, you need to chill. Cause I am not chill right now. So I need you to. The styling is so good. Okay, so the translation is, I want you to hold me, basically. You, it's probably a onomatopoeia for something. But I just don't know what it is. Okay, this is fierce. Yes, you better do it. Okay, that hair whip, I'm all about this. I love a, a solo from the leader right at the bridge. Yes. This beat. I can, literally can't get over how Ma is styled with that belt right in the middle. That's almost like a corset. 
It is very similar to what she was wearing in Ning and Kanke. Okay, that was sick. Why do y'all have to poop like in the middle of me filming? Like, why do y'all have to do that? Okay, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna watch it one more time and I'm gonna have the volume down just a little bit more. I don't understand why you have to be pooping right now, Mason. Like, it, it's not necessary. You weren't even pooping, you were just playing in the box. Okay, so I'm watching it again, just so I can kind of get a full grasp on all of this. Um, the, the bunny is interesting, this creepy little bunny that they're holding. And I think something about that coupled with the, the white ropes there's something almost like a little like zombie horror flick about it to me for some reason. I don't know what that is. The bunny is so freaking creepy looking. Which the overall tone of this, there is something slightly unsettling about the tone and the lyrics in a very, very, very good way. And I'm wondering if the visuals were kind of supposed to push that a little bit more that it's supposed to be a little unsettling. The way that they're all styled is so clean looking, but it, like, it, it's so, it's so soft. Um, but there's something very, like, powerful about the way that they're all styled and the way that their makeup is done. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it a lot. The shoes with this are impeccable. I think normally shoes that kind of go up to that length can look a little weird sometimes on people. But for some reason it's working here. And again, like I had mentioned before in the in the, the last video that I did for Junjo Evidence, that something about the waistlines was weird. Here they all look fine. They all look great. Like, I don't know what it was about those costumes. Like the waist was just in a weird place, but here, the, the belts are in the correct places, the way that they're cut, the way that they're tailored, they're all flawless. And they all look like 10 times longer. I'm really about all these poses that they're doing and like the kind of just like hitting them, holding them, walking with them. There's something very cool about that. This little heart earring that Mei has is so cute. I am again, not noticing Homare at all. Like, she's obviously there during the 15th gen shots, like the ones where it's just them. But she's like, not getting any FaceTime. Like, she was she was just there. But it's like, it's real May. Like, they're the aces of that generation right now, as far as these videos are concerned. Which I feel like Homare has a lot to offer, and that kind of is sad to me that she's not getting anything. But my kind of frustration, well, not frustration, that's not the right word. My kind of like sad point about Junjo was that I didn't see Yoko Yan at all and I really love her and she's getting a lot of presence in this one. I also love how Eddie Pone is kind of like just kind of serving looks. I think she's very, very good at doing that. This, this overall set is reminding me a lot of Wagamama. And I, I kind of like that set in a theater and just kind of, you know, dancing around on the stage. I think it's fun. Sakura's voice sounds so good here. I literally cannot get over how good she sounds. And it sounds like possibly her and Yoko Yan have done most of the backing vocals, which I, I think Sakura generally does the back vocals but it doesn't usually sound like Yoko Yan does them. Like she doesn't usually seem like she's relied on in that sense. Like I feel like they usually rely on either, oh, I'm just noticing this head thing that they're doing. Oh yes, I'm going back and watching that over again. And they're just bam, bam, bam. Fierce, that is so good. Sorry, Th that was so, so, so good. I love Junjo Evidence. Don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it mistaken. I love Junjo Evidence and I, I hum it quite often because I think it's very catchy. So sorry to all of you children who just freaked out. My cats like zipped. They were like, they're begging because it's two hours till dinner and they're like 
we have to eat now. Yeah, I really love Jinjo Evidence. I think it's great, but that music video was fierce. And it kind of gave me everything that I needed from Jinjo Evidence. It had the right aura, right? The atmosphere of the, the music video is very, very cool. And the way that the girls are styled is very cool. The way that their movements are. That hit, oh, I'm not gonna get over that. I'm gonna be doing that all the time. That was so, so, so cool. Hello, small child. What are you doing? Yeah, the atmosphere, right, was really cool. The way that they're styled is really cool. The vocals are really cool. I like it a lot. I really vibe with this song and that was, that was a bop. That was a real good bop. And the music video itself was very good. Please don't knock over my laptop. Yeah, very, very, very good. Fierce. So good. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for uh, putting up with me. I, I probably was more flamboyant than I meant to be, but that was wonderful. Support Morning with May. I'll see you guys next time.